All right, everyone, let's talk about the 511 TacTech plate carrier. For most of you, it's gonna show up in the mail, it's gonna come fully assembled, and you're gonna be able to throw it on, throw in a training plate, and get ready to get after it. Depending on your size, though, you might need to make some adjustments. This vest has adjustments in the shoulder straps and in the cummerbund. It can fit any body type, any body size. So let's dig into this thing, and I'll show you exactly how you can make those modifications. I think it's best to take the vest completely apart, and to do that, on the inside of the front, you're gonna see this Quick release handle is attached to the cables that run down both sides. To take the vest apart, hold the back down and just pull it to a full extension. You're gonna put it to the side. And once you lift this front pouch, you'll have access to the cummerbund. Just lay the cummerbund open, and then you're gonna work your way up. You're gonna to go to the adjustable shoulder straps. Pull this apart. Same thing for the other side. Pull it out of the way. And you could actually, if you wanted to, just completely move the front portion of the vest. In front of me are all of the pieces. Uh, I've already taken this vest apart. You have the front of the vest, the back of the vest, and the cummerbund straps. These cummerbund straps are identical. It doesn't matter which way that you put them in. And then you have this key piece of gear. And this is what holds everything together. This is the quick release single point pull where you can use your left or right hand. These cables are what hold the adjustments together. Once you get the vest completely apart, start with putting this back where it belongs. This is the front of the vest but the inside, along the top, you'll see a piece of uh, Velcro. You're gonna line up that single point release. And just to make it easier on you when you put it back together, you're gonna see this fabric loop on both sides. Route the cable through the first fabric loop and then just pull it out of your way. From here, you're gonna need to grab the back of your vest, lay the back of the vest down and start with one position at a time. It's a very simple and foolproof system that holds this together. There is fabric on this strap and there's loops on the padding. You lay them over the top of each other. So it goes loop, fabric, loop, fabric, and you route the cable in between the two and the tension is gonna hold it in place. So this first adjustment, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the cable all the way through and then start the beginning of the weave. I'm gonna go underneath the loop and pull it all the way through. Now I'm gonna have to bring it back inside of the vest and now you can see how it goes through this first loop that's on the adjustable side of the strap, underneath that piece of fabric, and it naturally wants to lay right on top of the other piece, which is exactly what you want it to do. Push it through that opening, pull it all the way in, and then route it through nice and easy. And pull it out. Just grab it, pull it through, come back in through the vest. Naturally lays on top, push it through, and pull to extension. You're gonna to come to a place where there's no more shoulder strap and you wanna route and hide the cable. So you wanna make sure that you use the remaining two loops just to keep it out of the way. Route it through the Velcro covered loop. And then just below that, you'll see on the back pad is a channel that you can push the cable through and eventually it'll come out the bottom side of the vest. So now you can repeat and do the same thing on the other side. Obviously, it's important to make sure that the measurements are identical. Once you have the adjustment the way that you want it to be, protect that adjustment cable and channels by closing the Velcro. Same thing on both sides. And there you go. You got your adjustable shoulder straps ready to go. Last thing we need to worry about is the cummerbund. You'll notice both cables come out. Do yourself a favor, fold this Velcro away from you or underneath you and just pin it in place. So you have a nice, easy work area. Grab your cummerbund straps. So I'm gonna line up both sides so they would be identical. So we'll start on this side. Like I said, over the top of the fabric, push it through the loop, over the top of the fabric, through the loop, over the top of the fabric, and directly below these two loops, you're gonna see a small channelized hole in the Velcro, which is gonna stow the excess cable for you. It'll be out of the way at the very bottom of the vest. Set it up exact same way on the other side. Same width on each side. Give it a tug you need to make sure it still works. Once you have it adjusted the way you need to, close this flap, secure these two tabs. So once you put this thing on, get it over your shoulders. What you're gonna wanna do is lift this bottom front flap out of the way. Put one cummerbund strap. If this is an invisible center line coming down the middle, have it touch that center line. The other strap coming in and touching the center line. It's equal, it's down the middle. This is gonna give you the most comfort, the thinnest profile from the side on your vest. And all you would need to do is Pull this flap down, and then again, secure it with these two Velcro tabs here. Let's get this bad boy on and you're ready to rock. Mm -hmm.